Dust 2. Navi's turf. Astralis, honestly, I think the, the majority of those tuning in, those talking about it, have an expectation to see the black and yellow in the semi-finals with Ancient under their belt. Happy to be proven wrong. Let's see what Astralis have got for us here. And he may be smiling. Let's see if the defenders of B are, because it looks like Na'Vi are at least going to start that side of the map. One expert, yeah, leaning the same way and seems to agree with us that Na'Vi have got this one, at least in the odds department. Bubsky's just cleared out mid behind this smoke and flashed on off. He will have to backpedal. Mid control taken now for Na'Vi. And some warning shots pop through the doors. Glaive and Dupree on the other side there. Ready and raring to contend with this, and a smoke lands at the feet of Electronic. He'll have to backpedal, but Xbox will be mounted and short control taken. But all in all, the bomb on the back of Perfecto is still towards those upper tunnels the entire time. Astralis are yet to be forced around with their rotation. They have their forces, or the Lion's Share, currently hedged towards the correct bomb side of B here. But really milking this clock, Na'Vi. About a minute remaining. Is in the perfect place, God, Jesus! And now Dupree's turn. A very elusive electronic. Another headshot. Simple. Doesn't even need the help, but Perfecto will take it anyway. Oh, the pain continues. It was rough for Astralis in that first map. A 13-2 first half. If you didn't catch it, sure they had a couple on their defense, but all in all, that's consolation rounds. Half B are not looking like they want to skip a beat here. Very convincing out the gate on the pistol, and you can already see that this one is confirmed. The bomb is halfway ticked. Bubsky and Zipex, what they're defending right now is their Kevlar. Me alone, he says, and hits the shot. Perfecto has advanced, though, and nicely done. We'll find that. Simple makes it easy. And here we go. Taking the pistol convincingly. That shot onto Magisk as well. Like I, just, I almost want to see it from his perspective. Like, he just... If he blinked at the same time as Simple touched his A and his mouse one key, I don't even know. Oh, it's good to see this form coming out of the individuals of Na'Vi and really, really excites me to see them in the playoffs. Going to see a very hefty looking buy. Only one SMG in play and that is for Boomich on the MAC-10. He loves to be mobile with those. Glaive and Simple exchanging shots in mid but neither landing up with the scouts. Boomich has taken some damage over towards Long. What a biff this is. Glaive hanging around here just continuing to fire shots through the door. Let Simple know his presence is still there. And they might continue this the entire round, you know. Ah, no, they won't. Okay, Dupree's down. Glaive's rotated over towards A. Maybe Glaive's scout can bang just as hard. Um, oh no, is the answer. God. Electronic. Just another day in the office for him. That smoke might delay them if they cross ramp. See that smoke as well from Zipex will get them a little high alert. Na'Vi slowly crouching and crawling. Up the ramp, Bubsky to peek around his smoke. He'd expect Bit to be ready, but what a shot out of Bubsky. He's got at least the first head found. If he could just neutralize Electronic, he's been spotted out heavily now onto Goose. Another head, Zipex contributes as well. A competitive one, and it could get a whole lot worse. Boomich hasn't got the bomb across during all of this. He'd have to have a strong arm, throw it across. Magisk is working on the full flank on long, so there's a timer on this. He does throw it across. Zipex doesn't catch a glimpse, and now Boomich will look to be the early warning signal. Oh, doesn't check. Boomich gets a chance. He does chip away to 14, so he knows where one of them is coming from. Spotted out. I think he knows Zipex is on his way to close that gap as well. Nicely managed. Perfecto goes down. High impact from Zipex. And you can see Zonic wants to get the boys fired up because that one did come out of nowhere. Oh my lord, Bubsky towards the top of sight there, did fantastic with his double, and then it's just closing it down. Zipex in the one-on-one -on -one with Perfecto, able to convert just there, and now, okay, maybe we have a little bit of a game on our hands here. This was the shot from Simple as Dupree's trying to cross. This first one. Oh. And yeah, close, like, I mean, this is a different round. If Magic's last 14 points of health do go down, you can see Perfecto just was not ready. Puts the bullets down range. Zipex, the first one out of his deagle, straight to the dome. Well, they managed to get that bomb down, which facilitates yet another buy here. More warning shots of the scout through the door. Boomage over towards Long again to bait out some util. And it looks like Na'Vi are going to take this one quite quickly towards middle. Electronic's going to meet up with Bit and Perfecto who are coming through these lower tunnels. Straight into the rifles here from Astralis. Got that AK picked up. 
Couple of M4s around it. Diffuse kit in play on Bubski. So everything they need for the post-plant environment. And look at Glaive. He was taking this angle. Has now just decided to start a bit tighter in the info. Oh, he's got it and almost a double. Yeah, Kala tag. I think that's all Navi were looking for. They forced out some utility and they've actually drawn two of the Australis members closer towards middle. Dupree's across to help bolster the A defense. And it does look like it might be that A finish. 50 seconds left on the clock. Enough utility for a very decent execute here. Zipex very shy of the mark and he's caught a scout bullet. That nade is perfect. Zipex might be dead. Nicely evaded. Bubsky's there to fill his shoes though and hopefully put some resistance down. Saw the jump peek out of Miss Simple. Molly. Yeah, Miss Molly indeed. Goose is an uncertainty. Zipex still contributing despite that scout bullet lodged within his rib cage. More damage. Perfecto something. Navi contesting. And I think that bomb can go down uncontested. Oh Saying that. They're just making wide peaks. It was the Galil, now no longer with us. Oh, he's going to finish it all, Dupree. One, two, not the third. Perfecto, a second chance. This time only the Deagle. Got close before. He's been looking great. Hard shots to hit, though, and Magisk has the M4 ready for that swing. Hardest shots to hit. Not going to happen. Astralis, they'll pass their second test, and that was the in full investment from Na'Vi after the bomb plant went down. They did get it down again, but Astralis 2, Na'Vi 1. Wonder how much Navi want to keep contesting here. They could go for another force buy that was pretty handy, all things considered. They get out onto the site. The swing, it's more to dissuade so they don't, you know, have so much pressure on that ramp as they're getting the bomb down. But they gave up a lot there and well, still got mowed on down by that push regardless. Not gonna be the full invest. Navi will just be buying into some pistols here. This is where Astralis can start establishing a bit of a CT bank. Wanna keep this one clean. Don't want to have too many casualties, if any. And avoiding the bomb plant should be name of the game. Everybody invested into a deagle other than Boomich. Next round has the 2400 loss bonus. And Simple's already copped a bit of damage, chunked on down to 70 here. Simple. Potentially caught out here. Yeah, nice swing from Bubski. Bits there to return the favor, and that should put a weapon onto his hands as well. Maybe there is more to be said about this one than met the eye initially. Would require another 1D spectacular. Perfecto happy to not get taken down. He's just taking pot shots. Dupree's happy though, happy to oblige. Glaive to defend his teammate while flashed. They might throw out a flash of their own if they fancy it's a smoke for now doors. That should buy time. Bit of a weakness right now and it is short to A. Glaive closed doors, Dupree overseeing business. I think they're a bit more worried about a B hit or a mid to B. And maybe it will be a plant and another retake for Astralis here, but how many times can they withstand the test? Glaive's in a difficult position to rotate back at this point. But if he thrusts forward, he might be able to clear this one out. Electronic is going to be running past his line of sight. That information will be called out and the bomb will go down. A retake once more for Astralis. Glaive very quick to the draw on Electronics. Short presence. Should be no way to hold this one. What are you supposed to do? They'll pick apart. Pick at your bones. Bit. No armor on that. The punch is too much. Just perfecto. We've been seen, seen this one before. Very hard shots to hit. Dupree will find his third as will Astralis. It's crazy that Perfecto gets three chances at the exact same clutch and every time becoming a little bit more difficult. Yeah. First time, oh, just the pistols. I have an AK and didn't have that one. Second time, I have the Deagle. I'm kind of low. I have three bullets. Third time, 2v4. Uh, 1v4 even. So just getting harder and harder out here. But now the buy, it is coming on through. Simple has his AWP. And this is the potential difference maker that we were discussing. On the other side of the server, the AWPing duties have been done so far by that of Dupree and Glaive. Neither of which in recent history have been primary AWPers. Having to pick that up now that Device is no longer a part of this team. Let's see how much impact can Simple have. No warning shots, just covering off Perfecto, barreling straight down middle, early control taken. And granted, nobody can fight. See, it's an early Lurk Smoke drop towards B, and Dupree has to respect that. He's going to double up with Bubski. 
Short Smoke's dropped out from afar here over towards A. We've just seen those land, and that's left Magiskin Glaive with a couple of questions to ask, but here they come straight towards the B site. Bobski's not going to get checked, and he's going to get two before Simple connects. Dupree forced to extinguish. They know where he is, and Molly might follow. Safe and sound. Electronic not looking either. The Danes have been given some real opportunities here, some sitters onto Na'Vi. Simple rock hard place. Great shot, just Magisk on the cross, just the tip of his head. Dupree spotted out, Simple's doing it all. Some great shots to start him off, and time to get the bomb down. Throws a smoke to guys, his cross, you peek in front of it. I like it. Oh, he's such a nerd. Simple with four, looking for an ace clutch. Spectacular to put Na'Vi back in the driving seat of Dust 2, and it's just Glaive. He's got the big brain, he's also got the Yorp. And Simple's in a prime position, there should be no way, no hope. He's holding the line, Tunnels is a threat, it's a question of timing here. Glaive crawling in. And Simple collects, magnificent play from the world's best. He makes it look easy. Well, that's why his name's Simple, I think, because that was just too, too easy. The fact that he's able to isolate all that of those fights. after the plan. Yeah, because you know what that suggests. Hey, guys, I'm crossing back towards tunnels. Guess what? That information, it's false. This one here's fantastic. He's worried about Dupree in the site the entire time, turns his attention late, gets that frag, and then sits at the back of the site. Glaive has to walk on in. Oh, my Lord, Simple, putting on a show here early. And we just spoke about it as they're leaving spawn, talking about that orping presence and making a difference. That is felt straight out the gates. As soon as he gets it in his hands, an ace. And just, just to remind everyone, that started with Bubsky double, Dupree with a frag onto Electronic. It's just not supposed to happen. The AWP on T side, no less, and he's managed to isolate all of these jewels. The smoke is inspired, the aim is too. Na'Vi, they have been given an opportunity to return fire immediately in our second map of the final series today. Day six of IEM Cologne and bam, Simple continues and he's had an absurd rating. He's actually been able to beat his own uh, rating from the previous three months here on LAN. And looks like he's just loving this uh, 2MS life or whatever it may be. Look at the punishment though that is immediately done to Astralis' economy. They're down to Clave with the AWP. It doesn't fill me with as much hope as it would if it would have been Device's name, unfortunately. Couple of rifles. He might walk in. Yeah, Perfecto is just jiggling on top of the box there, so he knows where the magic line is. Will he overstep the mark here? He will get a close flash from Bit. That forces Glaive back, but he's actually not shying away. If anything, it's made him go a little bit wider. Very standard stuff from Na'Vi here as they just continue combing through the map looking for any aggression. But this is really cool. They're doing the full commit like mid smokes, but they'll just send Bit out. If he meets more than one, if the AWP starts firing off a shot, they'll start the A commit. They're really making this convincing. Perfecto's presence in B as well. And Bit goes through, spots out the AWP. That should be the go sign. And yeah, Glaive will get that frag into ways, the plan. Bubsky actually starts to advance. Great time on that smoke, though. Oh, they're trying to boost. This could be a problem. Bubsky's going to be under this. Oh, Bubsky yeah, might ruin this. Close. He's going to ruin everything. Yeah, tucked in so close. If he backs up, though, Simple will see him over. And that's the opener they were looking for. Into the site. Dupree evades the flash nicely. Not the second. Vision restored, though, and that bomb I don't think he can quite deny it, but he might have a chance onto Perfecto. Now a 2v4, Na'Vi going to struggle to pull this one across the line. So much pressure right now. Oh, managed to isolate Magisk on the crawl up. Glaive from long returns, fire only Boomich. What's he supposed to do? Turns the flash, does manage to connect. I think he hears steps, spots out Glaive, face the shot, a chance now for Boomich. Zipex tagged up, gap to close, clock ticking, hard spray. Oh. And Zipex pulls it across the line. He might get a bit frustrated after that one. Jeez. Felt like he did a, the hard part of crossing back on Glaive's warp line. Gave him a real opportunity, but there you go, Astralis, not letting it go. All he needed was that kill as well, and I know it sounds like a lot, but if he gets that frag, there's just not enough time for Glaive, and now double orbs have been picked up. Astralis bounce back after that simple ace. And they've done so with a scrappy buy. So you could see Bit was literally just thrown out here for information's sake. The problem was Electronic went down towards Long. 
And it's almost like they forgot that he was there because Dupree got a kill. I, I think it was onto Perfecto who was peering into spawn. He wasn't ready for long whatsoever. So there's that frustration you were talking about for Boomich manifesting in the visuals. And just these pistols now for Na'Vi to work with. Now remember, this is their map choice. It's hard to know what to expect with Astralis in the server. Certainly a much more familiar terrain for both squads. Astralis well equipped to read into the Na'Vi dust too. Blaze just happy to take that tight line and interesting smoke. Not sure if that's intentional or a flubbed CT. Might have a uh well, either way, I don't think it's going to matter too much. It hasn't obscured too much information. They throw a second wave out. They are going to get to be on this. Yeah, they can use that then. Little av avenue, a little safe passage of away from the Glaive AWP. He does look away as they start pressuring tons. Flashes aren't bad, but they have their vision. Mad just can collect an easy one. There's more where that came from. Oh, Electronic all the way from the back. Doesn't manage to find a thing. Bit will. That's three players from Astralis down and no one's on B. This round has fallen apart just like that. The bit frag has kind of secured it. Pushed up in the smoke, just lingers after Electronics full commit to the site. That just went from zero to 100 in absolutely no time. It looked like it was handled for a moment there, but Perfecto getting two. And that little maneuver, I think we've seen something similar out of the likes of FaZe once upon a time, probably having to go back, you know, a year, year and a half. But those mid to B crisscross smokes getting into them, I think maybe even the French were running a strategy like that as well before. So Na'Vi getting a lot of space against double orps, right? They actually were able to take a lot of space out mid knowing double orps. Well, look, even if they knew double orps were in play, they probably were lucky to get that much room. So that's uh, really good work. And they've pulled one of their own back here. So everything considered, I, I guess we can call the low buy rounds even, right? Because Astralis were able to get that second round. We'll give Na'Vi this one. The scoreline still sits at four to three. All pertained money all over the shop here from Astralis. But what a response. And it, it like that's what I'm saying. It, it, it didn't feel like it was going to get that threatening. Obviously, the mid to be a bit of a problem there. But Bit getting the kill in spawn, you're right. There's so much pressure alleviated. That rotation cut off. There's nobody who can help them out. They just have to get the two B defenders. Oh, he actually hits that. There could be that all three peak. And, ooh, he's fighting him out. Boomich playing with fire. He keeps peeking. And spraying down Dupree. Good damage. Will be dunked through the wall bang. Perfecto's got B. And Simple's got Glaive. He's smoking off the B doors. Yeah, they should just take the bomb over towards B now. 100%. Think. I think Bit's starting to get a little bit of a move on. If Simple continues to watch mid, that means nobody can jump towards lower and nobody can go towards B. Perfecto just making sure that nobody is already on that side of the map. And there will be what should be the second smoke coming through from Simple. So when Simple gets there, he can re-smoke the doors. Bit can cross with no dramas. Electronic is already parked outside along. So all the issues that Na'Vi may have had have been removed. And, wow, doing it the safest way possible. They're also smoking it. Oh, I think they, yeah. Well, they messed that one up. It's all right. We, it's going to, you know, cause maybe a little bit of friction within this round. But we can see there's no problem for them getting in there and getting that bomb down. Now, with Electronic locking the long doors quite literally, it's Dupree on the other side of things with the AWP. Simple coming over towards T-Spawn as well. It felt like Simple already knows this is a save call. He's going to flash Electronic through. Clears the bedroom. How much further do they want to push this? The worst case would be to lose an AK and Zipex picks that up. The best case would be to take away this AWP. Oh, what a molly. Oh, and Dupree flashed as well as he tries to extinguish. That should confirm it, and that should be the end of the hunt. Simple trying to bait him in here or something. Trying to make some sound cues that they might be out of here. Just letting them know, they know where they are. There it is, tied up 4-4. So back and forth we continue to go here. And that's two consecutive rounds. The first two consecutive rounds for Na'Vi in the second map. They are in control of this money situation again, but just with how up and down these rounds have been, I feel like it could almost be anybody's. Na'Vi, taking a look at the spawns, only have Boomich with a great long spawn here, so they might not opt for that type of a play. And as you see Boomich barrel down the death alley there, 
signals that they will just be going for this fast mid control one more time. So quick on this boomage. First dink exchange. Boomich, I think he heard a step, like a flamey step. He knows that previously Zipex was where the Molly landed and ooh, worming his way through the CT smoke. That is quite a potent position. Boomich can lock down the road to through CT. Dupree on the site, baiting for the Deagle tucked in. If he could get another, that would be magnificent. Molly's going to change his plan. RV, reveal Boomich in that CT. The oh, and he's the one who can pick there. up the bomb. He can yeah. grab it. It's not the end of the world. Now they can go B. This would be weird, wouldn't it? Can he get away? There is a slight issue with that bomb. Yeah, nice throw, just in case. Knows the AWP could be posted up on that line. Yeah, this one's gotten very, very strange. Glaive's pushed into upper dark here. Doesn't really have the weapon for the job. Would have to hit some absolute bangers with his P250. He gets that insta dink and drops his smoke. And no. Oh, what? How does he not finish him off? It must have just been through the corner. And the tag this time from the AWP. Dupree won't be able to do much more with it. Boomich looking to lose his life and Mad just secures that. But regardless, it is going to be another one for the Na'Vi boys. And that's three in a row. Yeah, that's wild scenes, right? If Boomich wasn't in that position of spawn and Simple dies and the bombs drop like that, that is maybe even round over. That is actually crazy that that's the way that they're able to convert that. Boomich walking through their own mid to B smoke to CT spawn to cut off the rotation ends up being the man who wins the round with bomb reconnaissance. What an odd turn of events it that was one was right there. Super intriguing, yeah. Not only that, but like the uh, you could see the kind of uncertainty for Navi, like the fact there was a gap in the smoke. There was the, the hero warp did have an actual chance to stop that bomb from making it to B temporarily. We're throwing bombs across in places you never see it. Oh. It was super close on that hunt as well right there. So Dupree gets to hold on to the AWP one last time. A glass. Blade's a civilized man, you see that? He had a glass of water. He didn't have, he didn't have a bottle. No, he had that. a glass. None of that. Once you're secured for the playoffs, you, you put the, uh, the bottles away. Simples up. No damage inflicted on the cross. Magic will be able to contest that B presence and Boomich deploying his own set of util as well. Glaive showing no signs of surrender in the orb duel, at least maintaining presence. Certainly wouldn't be able to set the same expectations in the head to head. Well, it looks like they want more mid info now as Dupree and Glaive are working on going back towards doors. That's going to be the first fight. Dupree has to cross the flush to facilitate it. He will get back over. So now it's no longer. I just got an island on that B bomb site. But this is just nice tempered play here from Na'Vi. The default, slow as you like. And now they're gearing up again for another one of these A executes. The bomb is in the right position on, sorry, not the bomb. The AWP is in the right position on Glaive here to shut down an A play. Bubsky's got an A pulled. Plans to try and soften him up upon the execution. But we are gonna be seeing at least one CT smoke to try and keep that locked down. You do see the XX smokes now. That's Bubsky's Q. And the 45 seconds, that nade does so much damage. Nearly 150 damage just chunks away at Na'Vi. Preparing for the commit. Glaive swallowing some flashbangs. Bubsky as well. Boomich using that smoke to maneuver around. He may not expect it. Great catch from Boomich. Tags up bit a little, but that should be enable the plant. And electronic here's the stampeding steps of two. Dane does manage to get the one on the spray. Oh, what? Magis, quick on the draw, on the org. And Zipex flashed in, spotted at least two of them. Yeah, but bit nice shots from him. It's so even though, look at Glaive go. Another shot hit, Magis crawling up. Glaive knows there's a potential on short. Can probably safely assume Gandalf, he's looking for a wall bang perhaps. He could bang Perfecto out here, he's just gonna clear him. Just not looking the right way. Oh Tags no! Him. Tags him and Magis just doesn't have the time to deal with both of them. He's going to get out on the bomb here. Yeah, nor he's got nowhere kick. getting out. He'll take Perfecto with him. It's damage, but he's going to go down as well. They're going to lose absolutely everything here, Astralis. Oh, Bit even gets the kill. Put that one on the stat lines. Oh, boy, that one did get very, very close. What's with Simple jumping down to spawn like that? Wanted to take the fight to them. Almost gave them a door back into the round. Got some cash, though. Definitely. Yeah, well, not the same can be said for Astralis on the other side. We'll just have to be these dastardly deagles. 
How much more can they find out of this? Because it's now four in a row. Now be really starting to mount some of the hurt here. And it's been just this mid control every time. Boomich destroys Dupree. Glaive's around the corner as well, and not for much longer. He's forced back by the Molly. Good read of the game there. Boomich evades the nade and shot connects. Look at all the space. Electronics already this far pushed up long with a minute 20 on the clock. Just running all the way up. More flashes out mid. Huh? That was quite the shot right there. Simple's flash out mid door's got electronic. I think it might have been slightly, but regardless. Bomb's still top mid. Two Danes kicking around and one of them just pushing up that tons has met perfecto. All right then, Na'Vi 7 on this T side. Good recovery, and it does look like you're going to be seeing an ancient decider Ooh. between Heroic and FaZe Clan. Both teams winning their respective map picks and an ancient to separate them. That's an elimination match. Yeah, winner of that is in through the quarterfinals. That'll be the last team that we need to lock in for the playoffs. Everybody else, all other five names after VP took down big in two overtime games a little bit earlier today. They were team number five. Heroic or FaZe will be team number six, and then all of our attendees, well, we'll know the names. Brackets will be completed as well. And it looks like we may have a, a bit of a technical issue here. Does not appear to be a tactical pause. So bear with us. Hopefully not too many bugs in the system for this one. But there can't be any conversation during these moments. So watch those lips stay pressed. Things are looking good for Na'Vi now, just to recount. Seven to four, if you missed it, Simple had a lovely AWP ace within the early stages of this one. Navi did win the pistol. They lost to the force by Astralis retaking A time and time again. Perfecto left in different clutch situations, pro progressively getting harder and harder. And maybe now we're good because we can see Boomich having a bit of a chat and the freeze time is starting to tick on back down. So sorted, whatever the problem was, wasn't a big one. Now it's just about how many more rounds can Navi get here on this T side. One more to win the half. if they can keep a lid on this Astralis defense, or will Na'Vi struggle to pull additional across the line? Smoked off long. Standard util, but that orping presence does pull out a nice set of util themselves. Yeah, one note, we haven't really seen Na'Vi go long at all, right? We, we haven't really seen them go for the classic, you know, four guys out long, get control, put up all the pressure, do the cross smokes and go. It's been a lot more through short, a lot more of the start of the round mid control, just dropping down that death alley. And I guess when you know that the AWPer on the other side isn't necessarily a primary AWPer and you have simple covering you, you're going to have a little bit of extra confidence when just gunning her down. That's a big nade to cop right there. Bit and Boomich both 65 HP and pushing. Zipex is just running straight into this. He was noisy about that. They know he's close. Yeah, but he's arranged. He can actually cover a lot of ground quite quickly. Just leap down. Forces Bit to be very cautious on that short fight. Drops his molly. Double smokes landing. Not your typical either. Bit of an avenue forged between the two. The CTs can hide behind it. Oh. Well timed on the HE. Back to B. Oh, Bubsky just slipped off the box and wow, Bit controls the spray. Doesn't let up the hold of the Mouse One. Now they want to push through. They're coming up thick and fast. Dupree does well to contribute one. Glaive has pushed straight through the smoke. Boomich does neutralize Magisk, but he's been handed a 1v3 and not really enough time to deal with this. He's got to get back out. Doesn't have the util to deploy. And Astralis will make it five. Looked a bit sketchy, that one. Yeah, I think time was the biggest problem yeah. there. The fact that Glaive is able to run through those mid to B smokes and just take the fights like that in the back, you can, that's because the B defenders had such a good job trading. So able to make that one work. And Astralis do post another round. They break, break that streak of five. But there's still plenty of money right now for Na'Vi to expend and get themselves in with another purchase here. Again, there's just not long spawns to go for that classic play. So back over towards the B bomb side they go. Simple's bullet not landing, unable to get a tag. Glaive will shoot one out of his own. Boomish is just down middle doing 
Similar scenes, just coming straight down towards that Xbox, dropping from CT spawn smoke, Molly towards short, a lot of presence, but straight into Dupree, who's up close and personal towards the doors. Oh, that was a nade, a dink as well. That's two man opening right here for Astralis, and they've already put Electronic down low as well. This is looking great for Astralis, the sixth. Now, after all those incredible retakes that put the f first four on the board for them, now they're actually not even letting Navi get into the site. Look where Zipex is. How's he found himself here? 75 seconds still left, bit. Checks the barrels, but he'll start to look elsewhere. This is such a good off angle from Zipex. He knows. <gasps> Ooh, just turned away himself. Still should have an advantage, yeah. The fact he hasn't seen anybody yet is insane. <laughs> it is, but he's got a real, real opportunity here just to confirm electronics out of the round. Simple and bit. It's a potent pairing. There should be nothing left for Na'Vi into our 13. I was saying that. Bubski looking the wrong way. A precise shot. They know Zipex is around just as he looks away. Zipex contributes and simple. Too many targets tagged. Zipex to finish the job. Great round coming out of Zipex. Yeah, just that push right there. Uh, great stuff. And I think, you know, when all that damage was going down through the upper tunnels, they were able to capitalize on that space. I didn't quite catch it. I was glued on all the action going on from Magisk through the smoke. And there is enough for another buy here for Na'Vi, but running out of money towards the tail end of this half. If Astralis were able to pick up eight, they could have been more than happy with that. This has been a struggle. Still no difference in this, and this time around it is just looking more like standard default spread. Perfect on bit in the tunnels, Boomich pairs up with simple top mid, electronic dealing with any of this long aggression and just calling out whatever utility they hear. Molly to call it towards long, smoke noted as well. Just working on this same control. Navi going through the paces to get this, but I make it sound like it's a walk in the park. There could be a CT around any of these corners. Need to make sure they're pressed and ready for those fights. And right now, Glaive is very, very aggressive towards these long doors. You can see how far he's peering in right now. Almost confirming that nobody is home. Bubsky throws a warning nade out towards short. Makes Na'Vi understand that it's not just going to be a walk on in. Oh, and another nade chunks down simple and perfecto here. Dupree taking some shots through the doors. These same crisscross mid to B smokes will land. Dupree doesn't have an issue hanging around here. Seems like he wants to use it to his favor. Oh, wow, Dupree. The crosshair and the spray in exactly the right place to find Boomich. Electronic late long. His smoke all too clear as to his location. Hoping to force the fight against Glaive Zort. But if he goes down, this is a 3v5. Does take a wide stance. At least forces him off the first line. 25 boost seconds. Here. Yeah, Na'Vi are running out of time. They have to go. They have to go now or save. Bit of a classic. Util deployed. Stralis can't believe their luck. I think they're saving. Seconds. They're just going to give it up. Yeah, they're just saving on this one. Well, they're not going to have enough money in the next round to get a buy going. So the call is to save here. They weren't able to get what they were looking for. They went fishing. Nothing bit. And that's going to be Astralis tying things up 7-7. Seven, seven. That's one of the oddest ones we've seen all day. And we were watching Gambit a little bit earlier. They'll have a good save as well. Okay, okay. Well, tied up. I didn't think this would be the case here. Astralis is showing they have some fight. Some gas in the tank here to push Na'Vi after a dominant map number one. Didn't think we'd be looking to go the distance here. If we do need it, Inferno will be the decider as the third map, and that one is already delivered for the day. So strap yourself in. One of these teams is going to be walking away with eight on the half. Maybe now it's time to go fast long, and that's looking likely. Simple posted up mid, Boomich to flash them out. Here we go. Electronic, he's been having a slow start. And despite the flash, he holds his nerve, holds the spray. Dupree won better, though. Will he retreat? Nice taps. Perfecto nearly completes the set. Did catch some flack. And look at Boomer just accelerating. Wanted to try and punish Dupree. Extinguished to try and keep the pace up. And it's a great call considering the rest of Astralis' positions. Dupree tucked in. Glaive fast on short. Now, oh, ooh, simple. Floppy beanie, visible of Dupree. Are you actually starting to walk into this? That's a hard shot to hit. Oh my hit. god, Dupree. that's his third. He is having so much impact for Astralis. Both this and the previous. His frag the reason they saved. Now, three already into this one. Perfecto's tucked in on long. Magisk is going to hunt him down. 
one tap is all it takes onto the shoulder blades. Yeah, just the Tech 9. Boomich, too many men. And Astralis will win the half. What a turnaround. That started all Na'Vi. And Astralis make it clear they have a statement of intent. Dust 2 is not a guarantee by any stretch. And we'll find out what they've got and what they're made of in the second half. on your screens really is stepping up when it matters most up against the black and yellow behemoth Na'Vi. A lot of people expecting to see them sail to the semis as did the Gambit boys but no already seeing G2 send Gambit to the quarters maybe just maybe there's more surprises in store for this evening. Full, full, full. Frustration on one side of things big smiles and giggles on the other I'll tell you who's having a better time of this one Astralis brought themselves back into contention here and a conversation about the third can begin if they're able to keep these winning ways up. Here we go, 1x bet odds still favoring Na'Vi in this, but Simple just dealing through mid, that USP at range, not able to land the damage he was looking for. Glaive has been chipped on down to 78, but that's not a whole lot to talk about. Perhaps he's close, Dupree's with him. Simple close to the doors, needs to be careful how far he presses himself into that. They've mounted Xbox. It's going to be an A split here. Boomich is going to have a lot to deal with towards long. Uh-oh, uh -oh, way too much to deal with. He'll lose his life right out of the gate. Nade looks promising. Oh, the shots are better. Astralis, though. Here we go. Electronic with something, but Bubsky knocks Simple down. Something from Perfecto as well. Bomb's on long side, and he's isolated. So if Glaive goes down, Bit's got a real chance here. He knows there's... A pressure from Shaw as well. Bubsky makes it two. And now, to go back up Cat, Electronic One's info gets more than that, gets a bullet to the belly. Perfecto. Should catch a glimpse of, oh, he just looked, looked away. I think Bubsky spotted him, yeah, yeah, this one's done. Perfecto would have to kill Bubsky, then rotate all the way back over towards the A site. And now as he plays this cat and mouse game around the big box on B, it's just Bubsky milking time off the clock. There's the kill. Perfecto takes some damage, but he's going to need to pull off a huge task. Yeah, just scavenges a fresh oh, set of bullets Glaive. and Glaive. Look at Glaive. Yeah, he's actually going to catch him just before. Look Come at this on, timing. Glaive. Give him a break. Oh, it's so good. And now he's Megas got no time towards Pit. So uh, yeah. What's he going to do here? He does no idea where any of them are. And this is the most perfect positions the T's could be in to deny. Bomb halfway ticked. An open plant. Pit and Glaive can swing on the first contact as well. So He's not going to expect anyone short. He just came from there. And disbelief for Perfecto. He's just going to have to run away. Glaive doesn't even let him. And they are not going to let up. This is huge from Astralis. Not only did Dupree come in with 115 ADR, it seems everyone else is going to be having a bit of a morale boost off the back of not only converting the pistol, but winning out that first half on the CT side. It is going to be a real opportunity. Great opener as well from Zipex. Poor Boomich, he had three players swinging into him. Just wasn't really anticipating that presence. And they got the nice setup. Magic with a good tap as well. Yeah, they pulled Na'Vi over the map consistently there. They were just chasing their own tail. Couldn't get it what they were looking for. So out long, we'll see Astralis Ooh. taking control of this one. Bit gets flatlined. The second on the Boomich follows. And the force fight. Well, that is already two players down. Just have to work with simple scout now towards the top of eight. Perfecto's found himself. Oh, never mind. I thought he had found himself a fight, a chance. He's dead too. This is one of the worst situations to find yourself in. Okay, electronic. That's a big shot. If he took down Zipex as well, though, the bomb would have been left in no man's land, but Zipex is able to backpedal out of there. Bye-bye. He's going to find himself the long rotation all the way through spawn over towards B. Simple and electronic now are just going to have to bide out their time. This AK would be nice to save. Yeah, but Dupree's got a bit of spring in his step, I think, because he's up short. Knowing the bomb's going B and he's already so pushed up, why wouldn't you? Yeah, look at Glaive as well. He's even pushing through T-spawn, so they really want to deny this AK getting carried through to the next. But Astralis are set for double digits. This, well, no matter what happens, be 10 rounds. There's no way for Na'Vi to get back into this now the bomb timer has started. 
and Zipex is aware of that too. He's even left the bomb and started to chase. This shows just how confident Astralis are. They know exactly where both these two Na'Vi players lie. I'm going to deploy some util just to take a glance. When they spot him out as well. Electronics sitting on his smoke for now. They'll throw out one of their own. He might be able to create a little wall if he dropped his... Takes the shot instead. Good find. And now he can lock the complete smoke wall out. This is strange. <laughs> so Glaive's way back to his spawn. That smoke wall should last long enough that no one really tries to contest. He gets to keep hold of not only the scout for the Desert Eagle as well, so at least kind of three weapons covered with the two-man save. Yeah, that's a positive, a big one. And having this AK, let's see what they can do with it here now, V, because this was their map choice. We need to see why. The first half, it looked good in patches. The CT half, that's where you really want to see them be able to step on up. This is a great opening. Blind spam continued, second frag, and at that point, as soon as this fight goes in the way of Bubsky, you can almost call the round done, and I think I did. It's been given the scout. Electronic onto a deagle. Oh. Magic is entering into B. Yeah, and what have they got? P250 and a scout. Oh! Lying around. There you have it. 11 for Astralis. Now then. It was supposed to be just a formality, and they've managed to make it exactly that. That saved AK. They didn't manage to really utilize it at all. Simple posted up on short. Astral is charging in using that information and that opening frag from Zip. It's great to see them going fast like that though, right? Like straight out long. Okay, straight into B. No hesitation. And I, I say that, but there's really a lot of traps and pitfalls that they could fall into going into those moves. But the fact that they've gotten away with it. Oh, and a nice one there. Zipex, he had off the top rope into B. Now walking the tightrope to take down another. Simple wanting to save this AK. I just might not let him. No, they're really, really eager for Forcing oh the issue. God. Damn, Magisk. Ooh, and Boomich, fortunately, was there to be the backup. Doesn't really want to be taking any additional coming. fights. They are charging. He's looking the wrong way, and Magisk denies it all. This is going to start feeling a little tense in the Na'Vi camp. This is supposed to be your guarantee. This is your map pick. You saw the odds. It was, what, 5-1 to one after the Ancient win? Yep. Well, this is only the first time out of Na'Vi. You can note that. Left hand side of your screen. Important to call this, maybe just to take a little bit of a chance to calm down. Blade, he's not doing a huge amount of talking. Chipping in now, and it's the CT side, right? So now we're talking about what are we expecting? What do we think that they're going to throw our way? What type of a buy do we want to go for? We've seen Bit do some handy secondary orping. We still haven't seen the, the like opening fights taken from Na'Vi. These opening kills, of course, we still saw Magis charging out long. Seeing them test the waters in an aggressive B tons. Simple as the weapon he desires. But you're right, if they wanted to find the openings, it's going to have to be through a more aggressive maneuver. And it looks like they are boosting up towards short. It's Electronic who will be with the rifle, so not simple with the AWP. So much preference for B. Astralis have four players in the upper tunnels. Dupree is just selling a bit of a fake over towards middle. And Perfecto, he's on his lonesome. Here we go. Uh oh, he's in trouble. That nade looks great. The bullet's better. I need one from Bit, and he provides it. Smoked off for now. Presence doors as well. It's Dupree that can lock him down. It's a great flash. He needs to clear his corners. Big find from Electronic. And now Astralis, they may have the sight. Zipex anti. Magis planting. And a smoke. Both from Na'Vi and CTs will kind of nullify that door smoke. At least Ooh. to an extent, they can sneak in. On towards tunnels as well. That's bought about 18 seconds off the clock as part of this retake here. I think Na'Vi have to respect it. They have a kit on Electronic, but time will start to be a another problem. One. This could be great here. It could be a 2 on 4 from nowhere. It's re smoked it. If they go through grey screen, they can 2v4 this. And this will break the souls of Na'Vi. Spray is great. Needs to reload. One from Electronic. 1v1. Bit saves Na'Vi, I think. A full 10 second defuse. My oh my, what a 2v4 attempt. Oof, he's looking very happy on this, but it is very close. Right down oh. to the wire oh. there. Bit just he... gets it across the line. And I think Perfecto's raised eyebrows say it all. He just runs straight in there. Oh my god. Lucky you can get that AWP as well. That was almost a crazy 2 on 4. Where did all these smokes come from? I just I guess these their teammates' dead Damn. bodies were offering up. You know, the offerings of the dead there almost made that one possible. Yeah, and you can see the Navi just reluctantly like, well, I 
Guess we're going through. They had to. There was no other way oh, in. Oh, yeah, and Dupree, I think that was probably as the bomb was about to blow up. You realize, damn it, so close. One extra second rotted off the clock, and that's yours. That is yours, and that could have been the real felling blow. Put Na'Vi down into the dumps, and still doesn't look fantastic for him. No, they're on the ropes right now, Na'Vi. They need to convert a consecutive CT side around here, and that is just to stay competitive within this second half of Dust 2. So lots of importance put on round 20 here, and Astralis know that they can apply this pressure. Glaive continuing to do the orping duties. I'm going to stop having to say that Dupree's doing secondary or primary or whatever the hell is going on, because it's Glaive who's wielding it more often than not. You can see he's calling the shots as well as wielding the Doom Banger. Double smokes, they could just be going for a little mid to B pop here. And it's only perfect him a bit. They're really exploiting this side of the map, but his shot wasn't far off. There's no one to support them. Bit has to be the hero and has already found the head of one of the highest fraggers in the server. Mad just down, bombs pushed up. It's still there on the back of Dupree. Electronic pushes through, does find Glaive, and that's a response from Na'Vi. Oh my God, everybody stays alive in that. That is insane. A mid to B defense with practically two players. Yeah, they were really trying to beat up this B defense. That's the first time they've basically put their middle finger up and said no. That is wild right there. Uh, the f Bit has a great weapon for the job there. Maybe you could even argue better than the AWP just with the fact he can hold that mouse one down with the scope. And Perfecto, like a little buzzard, just being annoying from that window position with the MP9. Great stuff. Very, that's the two newest additions to this Na'Vi roster. I know Perfecto's been there now for over a year, but... But statement still stands. They were testing them. There's no doubt about it. Astralis keep trying to force the issue on this side of the map. And believe it or not, it's the side of the map Simple doesn't occupy. Yeah, well, if you can avoid this man's AWP, you can avoid getting picked off. But now Bit has upgraded into the AWP. And like I mentioned before, he has been handy on, it, on this map specifically. Simple parking himself up in Goose, and that is an absolute freebie. Glaive goes down on the jiggle, Ooh. stepping into the line. Simple gets the second on the Bubski. Nothing left for them now. Forced off the line by the flash. Dupree can navigate through. He has the bomb. Uh, Dupree, just be careful. Just be careful. You do have the bomb. The round's not over yet. Chance here. Ooh, a tag. Boomich will duck into cover. Utility deployed does indicate Perfecto has to be on his toes here. And jumping across a very hard deagle shot. Near impossible, I'd argue. Considering the strafe. Simple found the first two. Shouldn't be required for much more here. There's his third. Stralis just on a conservative one towards the A site. Simple just knocks him down. All right, well, now we need to really start seeing what Astralis can do on their gun rounds, right? The pistol win, good. The conversion win, great. Against the lower buy or the saved AK in the third. Round number 18 here, fantastic. But it's the T half. What can they produce, right? There's no real clear indication of where the weaknesses of Na'Vi will lie if that mid to B doesn't work. Umich may be a player they could look to try and isolate towards long. But a timeout taken from Astralis, and this is their second. So this is that exact conversation. What do Astralis think is the weakness? What type of execute? What do they have in their back pocket? Because the spawns right now, as we can see on the radar, are not fantastic for anything fast towards long. Claps from Zonic come in. By looking magnificent for Na'Vi. Glaive back into the AWP one more time. I want to see what he can start producing with that. Freeze time comes to its close. And out the gates we go. Back over towards the B bomb site again. Four players of Astralis swiftly show their intent in this. Zipex drops an Xbox smoke, flushes towards Long, trying to keep other parts of the map activated. Now this doesn't have to be the fin the B finish. They can actually come down through these lower tunnels. Glaive's immediately flashed off. Is he just gonna re-peek into this? I think he is. Oh, bit caught a glimpse. Good jiggle from Glaive. Gets to live on at the very least. Impel returning to the doors. Just firing a shot there, and, and that may try and spur Astralis elsewhere on the map now that they've identified where one orb is. That Molly has done an awful lot of burn damage that, right there. So you saw a deep smoke then partnered with that Xbox dribble.
Look, well, Simple's actually all the way back up towards short here. They're not going to expect this. Especially considering just in their mind, Heard a shot doors. He fires off another shot, this time towards short. I just got the swing. Electronics in jeopardy here. The flames obscure him. He still controls the spray. Desperate to retreat. Vision just restored, but Dupree closes his eyes permanently for round 22. 40 seconds now, then. You got the util. Dupree wants to have a little glance on the jiggle here off the flash. Simple's posted up. Has nothing to report on Aegis yet, but here comes Astralis. We got the forces divided exactly how they want them here. Just simple towards a boom, which is a pressure point right now. He's trying to cheat and help simple the best he can, but he has to hold down that long position. Here they come, Astralis, 20 seconds. Simple to be tested. 15, need to deny. The first shot does connect and off the flash. He can certainly profit. That's the frag Boomich was waiting for. Now he's activated, can assist on the denial of this plant. And he has no way to get the bomb down now unless you hit that from short, unfortunately. Can't do anything about it. Perfecto secures an 11th for Na'Vi. Handled there. And I think just keeping it awkward in middle is really going to slow Astralis down, right? The fact that they're not able to get that short control quicker than they'd like just leaves them in a position where the clock is melting away. And that does become a bit of a problem here. Now they have to have a chat. Now they have to do it all again because we just spoke about what is going to be the difference maker in these T-side gun rounds for Astralis. Well, nothing came of it this time round. And the scoreline is tied up. So that lead that they had accrued earlier on in this is now looking like it can slip away very quickly. Just the pistol, Zip trying to make his way out long, and oh, he's going to get past. Simple's in lower dark right now. Yeah, he's mixing it up for sure. And up against pistols, he's been playing with fire here. Still strikes. Don't think Dupree's going to believe that one. Oh, but a quickie onto Bubsky as well. Okay, well, they're getting the mojo flowing. We'll scavenge away whatever he can. The AWP in lower dark. That's yeah. when you know things are going well. When the AWP is in lower... Like... It just doesn't make any sense. It's just a sentence that one wouldn't be expecting to be saying. Certainly, we're not when you're equipped with deagles. But these double orbs, ever since they've equipped them, it's just been sunshine and rainbows for Na'Vi. Astralis with everything they could possibly desire. Corner smoke flying through the air. Bubsky to flash himself out for some long space. And I don't know if there's anything that Perfecto can do or say about that. It calls upon Simples to back him up. Oh, that's a really awkward long smoke that's been thrown in. Hold up a second. They're actually pushing for space right now. There is a gap. Zipex is in lower. He's not looking. Glaive is in T-spawn. And Electronics being able to push all the way up towards Ooh. back of Catwalk. This is about to get very, very dicey. Both teams in hedged positions. Oh, my God. Ah, that's going to leave a mark. Dupree not happy with that. Glaive... Can't catch him on the retreat either. Boomich goes to check and back up. Oh, does Glaive know he's there? He will now. Drops a smoke, actually. Electronic confirms it's still north in T-spawn. Madness has departed locked doors to try and equalize. And Zipex trying to keep Boomich honest to back up the poor boy Electronic, who is just on an island. What's he supposed to do? This is awkward. They're just melting more time off the clock. Oh, my God. Electronic gets thrust forward. Okay. Well, they've dealt with him. At least now they've leveled the playing field up 4-4. Uh, Perfecto, th there's a player in pit. Bubsky's in pit right now. Uh, yeah. Perfecto is so lucky to be alive. Bubsky would have destroyed him at any peak just there. I think kept at bay by the fact Simple's AWP is over towards the top of A. Now that shot fired. Simple knows what's coming. Okay, three short. One late long. Similar strategy. Let's see if it's a similar result. I have the problem again, though. 25. We saw Na'Vi save in similar circumstances. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, Nade hurts. Boomich, though, doesn't quite go down. Zipex unable to convert and bit can through the doors. This is the commit. 15 seconds. Simple. Tested. Magis catching some frags here. Quick peek. Good frag. Needs oh. the oh. Simple does it all. His teammates are there, but that is something else. That's a style point performance. Ooh, and he's got a smile on his face, electronic impressed. Jeez, isn't that nice to have in your back oh. pocket just to pull one of those just out the here. hand cannon. Takes the close fight with the orb and the long <laughs> fight with the deagle. Just got it completely backwards. It looks like he was in slow motion there, getting a chance to steady. What a huge shot to hit. It looks like Astralis now. They've run out of ideas. It hasn't even felt like they've been able to do anything. That push top and mid, right? Where Electronics pushed all the way up into Death Alley. It looks like, okay, yeah, they isolate him. But just think about how much time is spent just dealing with that maneuver. Yeah, I mean, your whole comms go from, like, your progress long to, like, we've got Bubsky and Pit, blah, blah, blah. No, Magisk is now having to come back to support Glaive. There's a smoke at Death Alley. You're really having to kind of completely change your game plan just to force him out of the line. They have made this very, very jarring here, Na'Vi. Yeah, they've got so much cash to splash as well. Like, they're going to have everything for the rest of this one, and oh, quite the contrary ugly. for Astralis. 
Real chance for Na'Vi to close out in two now. Astralis did really test them, coming in flying with the pistol and its conversions, but Na'Vi back firmly in control. What's Glaive up to? With that Mac 10 Oh, he actually lands the dink. Can't believe he hasn't finished it. Zipex will for him, even trades for now, but the entire squad... Oh my god, back through the volley. I'm over there on the long doors. Has he gotten away with his life here. Glaive down to 18. Everybody stare at the floor, or...? Well, this didn't force anybody to rotate at all. There's still two players from Na'Vi over towards the B bomb site, and Astralis, I think they're hoping that that was enough to sell. A bit of a fake here. It's not at all. It's a knock and run on long. And they're running straight back into Bits AWP. Posted up back a plat. You couldn't have a be better weapon for the job. Yeah, and with the Deagle, Mac 10, a tagged up scout player, Bits should be set for success here. Is that the lurky smoke? Chills and holds the line. Opts to reposition as this could be the execute. Has vision. Needs the frag. Steadies his aim. A bounty magic. A bit too hard to handle. Now heat as well from the Molotov. That's oh two from God. Astralis in the feed. And the site and the round might be theirs. What a turnaround. It looks so good. It, it looked like everything Na'Vi could have hoped for was falling into place right there. But that utility, bit got scared, bit dropped back. The traditional pr protocol when that kind of happens is the rifle plays close towards the lurk smoke, but I don't think they believed it was actually going to be a B hit. And now spotted, Boomage down. Simple gets the trade. They know where he is with the AWP right now and quickly straight towards the mid doors. All three Astralis players flood. to that Deagle. Bubsky knows how much that can hurt as well from the previous. That is exactly, exactly how it could have played out. And like in the dream scenario in Astralis' mind, that's it. Running back through T-Spawn after a biff on long. Forcing them out with the molly. They actually just burnt one down with the molly. Well placed and they didn't put it back plat. Well, that was six rounds in a row from Na'Vi finally being broken here. And that means that Na'Vi have a lot of cash to work with and reinvest right now. It's just a shame that they lost that round. That's the most frustrating thing, the type of round they lost here. Not that they lost a round, but it was just to this scrappy buy after they'd already pushed back that attack over towards Long. Perfecto there, feeling the heat now. As things are getting closer and closer, 13 to 12, the scoreline. Ooh, different, different flavor from Astralis, straight down. Gunning it down mid, Bit could swallow a flashbang if they want to pop through that smoke. They've got one cocked. Dimple denied on short. Look at them go. Just contact. Bit posted up, it's promising. And he doesn't miss. Doesn't skip a beat. More to come. Simple trying to contest with a flash of his own. Perfecto for the repeat. Simple through the flames. Oh Tags him up, that? but he's down. And so is Perfecto, it's Electronic that can deliver, and he's taken the bomb, put it on the floor, tagged up on Electronic, Magisk to come up clutch here. And with him so low, oh what an adjustment! God. Oh, Magisk, with one HP to spare, pulls Astralis back into contention. What a round that was, complete bloodbath. I thought Electronic had done enough when you see the bomb loose, Magisk comes straight round the world, out of B, takes down Bit. And he pieces it together. This adjustment. Jesus, that's a one on three. That is a huge one on three. Wow. You consider the ramifications of that moment right there. That is huge. That is absolutely That's magic. Huge. It really is. That's them putting a second life within this team right here. And they're going to keep their foot on the gas. Glaive straight out long. Continuing the pressure right now. Navia under the pump. That money we spoke about, it's already siphoned through. There's real problems now. If Navi lose this one, their bank balance, it's siphoned through. There's no cash. One of the late stages of the game, Chad. You know how much of a blow that could be. And it's going to be a question of... Who's going to take that first contact? Astralis, they are fully gathered on long. We know Glaive is typically disconnected from the pack, certainly now on the orping. Oh my god, there's a real conversation about the third now again. It, it, after Na'Vi, they bounce back from the early stages of the first half. Then we get to the end, 8-7 on the half for Astralis. Okay, they're back in it. Astralis win the pistol, things are looking good. Just Na'Vi take full control of the game again. And Astralis through magics. The fact that he's able to get that one-on-three situation. What is happening now? And you can see, Na'Vi, they don't have that same spring in their step. They're not aggressive. They're not pushing. They're not taking the fights. They're not slowing this Astralis team down. They've got this full long control. They get the cross smokes over. Boy, five second mark. Simple anticipating the cross smokes. They still haven't pulled them. He's dropped his early. There's one more CT smoke in play from Electronic side on short. They're walking up now. Flashed off. It's early. Very early. Na'Vi know what's coming. 
They haven't been able to find anything early. Good chance from Boomich. Tags them up on the cross. Bubski the only one to catch any flak. And he looks to get that bomb across. Oh, burned a little bit. That's a start. The boost is promising. Simple shot even better. That boost still not toppled. Zipex adjusts. He can get them both here. Perfecto tucked on Elevator. Simple in the open. He needs to hit the shot and has. Zipex responds. He's down low now in no time. Na'Vi, a crucial round to convert. And just in the chaos of that, we'll pull it across the line. You can see how flustered they were, though. All those nades very early. And it's the shots that have saved them. Simple with a crucial double. The fact is Molotov as well. He's the guy rotating over from B. So he gets that molly down. That's the one that gets the first kill opening on the ramp and gives the number advantage over to Na'Vi. Last time out called for Astralis now in the last stand. They either give this one up, they take a bit of a save. They give Na'Vi 15 and then they play for overtime. Always a bitter pill to swallow this one. Last time out to talk it through. Two more rounds of play. This is the shot, simple hit. Second one, nine seconds. The bomb loose, of course, as you highlighted, courtesy of Perfecto's Molotov and the spray from Boomich. So they're riding high highs and then low lows, eyes rolling to the back of their skull. Magis comes up clutch with a 1v3. They've gone all in. They have gone all in. They are not, they're not just going to swallow that bitter pill as we discussed. They're going to throw the whole bottle out the window. Charging in. Oh, a chance, a big one. Boomich put on notice. And oh! the flames, he goes in for the repeat. Magisk is doing everything within his power to pull Astralis into round 28, and he's given them the man advantage. Glaive back to B, bomb on his back, the squad to join them. Bit and Perfecto have been having nightmares on this B site. And I wonder if Simple's considering hedging his bets a little. He's floating through CT now. It's just crazy. Early on, Bit and Perfecto, they withstood the tests. It's only late that they've been finding a harder time. Lurksmo comes out, so do Astralis. They're coming in. Bit needs something. That's oh! quite a lot of damage. Bit hits one as well through the smoke. Perfecto passes his first test. A fresh AK. 19 bullets. Simple called upon. It's Bit again. A second on the AWP. Dupree's pushed in close. Using the smoke to guise his advance. He actually can re-smoke on the doors. Simple playing around. Bit already with two. This rookie delivering in such a large capacity. Chipped away at Simple. Desperately trying to bail him out. Another quick one. Can't finish the job. Glaive's got one HP. The 1v2 just not going to happen. It's simple with the impact. The double orbs deny the Astralis investment, and that could be it. Damn. Oh, my God. Astralis just going back towards that B bomb site. This time they can't get through. This time they can't break through. You saw them all lining up and just all that damage chunked down through the smoke. And the fact that they battle and they get it to that point. The expression now, it's not looking good at all. One Galil, that's the best weapon they have to boast. Two MAC-10s, a Scout, a Deagle, some Util, but that's it. Semi-finals. Simple tries to bring some aggression into the mix. Started off with a bang. They're rushing Charging B. in. Perfecto's already flashed. A chance. He takes down the prize winner. Magisk is down. Steadies his aim for a second. That's a lot of impact out of Perfecto. Bits locked out of the site. Bombs coming in now. Dupree pushed up. Na'Vi can't let this slip. This is their best chance. Close it out in regulation. Astralis. First step complete. Bit fires off a warning shot. And now the bomb can go down. Glaive. Oh, hang on. With the scout, it's just so far from the ideal weapon. We'd we love a headshot. Has the smoke. That should buy time. A MAG-10, is that better for him? It might be. Oh my god, you know what might happen now? Don't say it. It might be. A four-letter word? It might be a save call. They still have pressure on. There's still time to work with here. What decision are Na'Vi going to make? They're getting closer to towards oh, the doors. I think they're going. Good. That could be good. The spray is great from Glaive. Doesn't finish off electronic. They're going in. And here comes the commit. Dupree denies. More required. Astralis, they're so close. The bomb's ticking. It looks like electronics could pull. Oh! Them. Simple with the no-scope. Zipex is there. Time sensitive. Bit can save them, and he hasn't. Oh, no. We're going all oh, the way. No. Oh, no. We're going the distance, despite Simple's best efforts. What is this game? Astralis with just peanuts. Throw into the B site so quick. That has now happened to Na'Vi. They, 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 were, they were in two minds. The money's not there for them either. They were in two minds. They didn't know whether to go for it or whether to save and Simple forced the issue. He went in. 
If they get the kills, that's great. But the fact that they don't convert, the fact that they don't get away with it, money is broken for Na'Vi now. Oh, the shot was close as well. Oh my god. Because the electronics backing off, there's no way to know Simple's going to get those kills. The, the comms must have been mayhem. Aye, aye, aye. Look at the buyer to get this across the Simple, line. Simple, he's mad as hell. They're all there. Tight line held. And oh he's gone. no. Oh, Simple's gone down. Electronic just the one. There's no one on A. It's, oh my god, it's overtime. Written all over this. And another one on the cards. Bubsky, a quick reaction. The Danes starting to believe. As am I. The site is open for business. Bit would have to push through the flames just to have a go. Just have a voice in this one. Hard spray, hard shots. Everyone's gone. Overtime. Just a frag away. Astralis have shown resilience in the face of adversity. And just that lockdown. Navi Astralis extends the play. The Danes with two back to back. Damn, land delivers, as do Astralis. They don't back down, Dust2 continues, MR3 around the corner, a quick break required. with no kit currently in play. Two smokes have just been deployed again on both sides. Because the take was so quick, they still have utility. And Heroic, it's a flanket from Carrigan coming around the backside. Unfortunately, he did have a P250. It doesn't matter right now. Heroic starting their play. Refresh has found the first. Twist has gone down. Heroic trying to get back into the site. But the setup is so strong for Face Plant. And they're looking like they've done it. Just shoot. And it's Beast Plan that moves through to the playoffs, they eliminate Heroic. It's all a fact. This group be up a bracket final. Frustration's definitely mounting for both squads up and down. It's been a roundabout. Magisk has showed up in such a big way, showing that resilience, showing exactly what he's capable of, and up against none other than Na'Vi. Both teams definitely in the conversation when it came to Group B, but Na'Vi was certainly a fan favorite and an analytical one as well. So many chances to finish in regulation as well. My God, some of the situations you may have missed, but I want to get right back into the action because it's starting here. 
trying to separate them. The Danes have pulled us to overtime. Magisk with a nice lineup for the smoke, and he's going to see Boomich turning away. A chance. He does go one for one. Caught Dupree with some flak as well. B has been an issue, a point of contention for sure for the Na'Vi defense. And at this point, it looks like Astralis planned to go to the alternate side. Oh, the map. huge gap. Dupree's clown shoes poking out under the smoke. Just three remaining now for the Astralis T campaign. Round one, if Bubsky's not careful, Bit might throw a stray one into the doors. And Simple, he's not backing down. In fact, quite the opposite. Lingering as the smoke fades, hoping to get the info. He's a wise man, this one. 30 frags in the bank from Simple. A 1v4 clutch already, of course. Not to discredit what Astralis have been laying down as well. So the bomb's there towards long. It seems like Na'Vi are kind of giving it to them. Simple can't contest it. He's really concerned about short. If they keep walking up... Electronic has a deep line here, but he can't Ooh, miss. Simple's he cannot miss. to this. They're quite advanced. 30 seconds. Here we go. Smoke. Simple has to drop down. They're across the ramp already. That's the bomb on Glaive, though. In the 20 seconds, he's going to have to... Pull up his socks if he wants to get that bomb across. We'll throw it to Magisk. Should be able to plant unless Perfecto. Oh, not bad. Catches Bubsky. Glaive onto Electronic, though, and now that bomb's ticking. A two on two established, and he knows they're coming from short. Util Light. It's going to have to be bodies and bullets. Oh. Glaive another. Just Perfecto. Oh, and Astralis recover. Here we go. First round of OT, and it goes the way of the Danes. Okay, okay. Well, they're here to play in a big way. That AWP impact of Glaive, I've been talking about yeah, it, right? right? But here we go. We're feeling it in an overtime. You can see them just trying to bound past. Baiting the shot was perfecto. Simple just strafe straight out into that goose line. Goes down in the first one for Astralis here. Plenty of money, 16k. The tack tack out early for Dupree and Glaive. They really want to turn the screws on Na'Vi here. Trying this to get is under a, their skin. Yeah, it's a very loose-looking Astralis, but it's great to see Electronic spots one towards lower. Has to literally tuck tail and turn away. Simple out towards the car position on long. Might get an opportunity. They're running double orbs on the T side here. This is how you can see just how Astralis are mixing things up. They didn't have many answers whatsoever on their T half, so may as well keep it loosey-goosey. Corner smoke. That's going to push Simple into a wider line. Can still deny them that pick control. Got Molly for him. Yeah, that's going to force him back into a passive position. And well, Navi haven't operated very well when they've been stuck in this formation. They've already set up. Oh, Simple's actually going to push back oh, out. I He's crazy. I don't know if Astralis will consider that. That is a interesting development. If they return to long, could be more Mollies to force him out. But here we go. Glaive posted up in the pit. The smoke did deny his info on Simple's return to his car. And he's called upon Boomich to support him. A flash and a peek wouldn't go amiss. That's the first of them. And he's got nothing to report. He does. And advancing into the line will punish Bubsky. Four as well. Bomb spotted. Electronic one for one. Dupree a presence in tons. Bomb to be scooped up. They've got 28 seconds, Chad. They can still go B right they now. They could. And it's only bit. He's had a great game on Dust2. Dupree's about to take some liberties. Is that smoking there in time? They're going to disrespect it. They're coming through off the flash. Bit, so much to do. So much work to do. Simple fi finds a frag elsewhere, but if they shut down Bit, there's more to be found. Nine seconds. They haven't found him yet. Hiding on the site. Simple keeps them at bay. Dupree with a lot. No time. No time. And the equalizer is found in response. Just surviving there. Does a world of good for Na'Vi. Oh, dearie me. Uh, just how Astralis are able to pivot right there. Look, they're not committed to anything at any point in time. The fact that they've gone all the way back that was very dicey scenes. Zipex's job at mid doors was tasked with stopping that rotation. He couldn't do so. Silence by Simple. The Dak Dak's coming out again, just spending their cash. Astralis, final round here of the first half of OT. Their T campaign. Two would be beautiful. That's where they were having troubles. Dak Dak spammed through the door. It, it's just going to be Perfecto's the only man towards that B bomb site early. He's actually playing a retake formation now, joined up by Electronics, so the two of them can actually work their way in in tandem. Simple needs to be careful about this. Warning shots out from short. Molotov to contain him as Glaive wants to get looking. 
God, you've got so much to keep track of when these two are duking it out. Constant pressure. Constant smoke and mirrors. Bit towards long. This is different. This is completely different right here from Navi. Bit with an AWP over towards long, locking down the doors. There's nobody there, but that's why we have two rifles on the B site. This could be a difference maker. They're coming in again. Yeah, an electronic could be the difference maker. Tucked in on the corner. They don't check him. Already three in the feed for Navi. Looking to take the majority in the first MR3. Magisk, however, makes a 1v4, 1v2 in the blink of an eye at the drop of a hat. Boomich close, and if he walks towards that door smoke, he can drop his own. Makes it clear his intentions. Bits holding one side. Fake plant. Narvi hold their nerve. Now Magisk. I mean... Already quick on the first two. Isolated, but bit a great shot to hit. Oh, it felt like there was something brewing right there, didn't it? He's had some fantastic clutch moments already within this game and some huge impact that's been felt on entries. Sitting on a bit of a heater right now, and if he gets across just as that smoke is still up, that could be a completely different scenario. But bit bows them out. We've been talking about his impact. And as we were talking about those two rifles towards the B side, Electronic springs on out to massive frags. And Na'Vi now... One round away from securing double OT, two from getting this one done. First to 19, magic number. You can see that in the middle of your screen. Here we go. Long spawns finally for Na'Vi, and they're going to take it. Perfecto and Electronic leading the charge. Okay. Smoke will be disrespected. Eyes are on the ground. Magic just wants to put some bodies in the dirt, but he's gone. And there's so many players on the swing. Three spotted. Electronic does well. So does Zipex. He's a master oh, of the they blocked each other. Simple Mr. Shot. Couldn't strafe away. And now a 2v2, what is going on? Capri's taking full mid control. When they drop back, it's going to be through the AWP. Yeah, and I don't know if they're going to be ready for this. It should be a freebie. Nice collection. Dupree doesn't get swung on either. Bomb to be scooped up. But advantage Astralis into the first round of this defense. Oh, now then. Okay, so he's gone back and forth. Dupree confirms he's back towards the A side of the map. Spawn's potential for Boomich to be either side could have hidden on his way back across now. Dupree in lower dark with the AWP. He has a lot of territory, but he's leaving some blind spots. Both of the players on the CT side, Glaive as well, they're searching right now. They're quite mobile. They've moved around a lot. And Boomich, where's the gap? It doesn't even feel like there is one. Feels like he's walking straight into the trap. Dupree holds the line to perfection. What a way to turn it around. Just a biff on long, but it's Dupree's push up mid that seals the deal. It was really awkward for Navi coming out long. It felt one at a time. They didn't swing as a pack, and when they did, Simple misses his shot and gets blocked on the return. So that's frustration that's going to be building right here. And Navi, well, they had timeouts left in the bank, so they're going to take one to talk it through. Blade, looking at Boomich as he speaks here. There's a lot on this here for Navi. The fact that the first map, Ancient, was Astralis's pick, a bit of a bogey pick. They didn't really feel like they were putting up a fight at all. Thought this was going to be a quick 2-0 to round out the evening. But that's not the case whatsoever. 17-17. Three orgs, two AWPs. Astralis loving the scopes here to defend with. Yeah, five scopes. Got them to this point. Round five, though. In pursuit of 19. And we're off. Xbox smoke deployed. Looks like they want to try long again, despite their shortcomings previously. Perfecto. Same routine. Let's see if it's the same result. There was three players from Astralis when they rounded that corner the last time. It looks like the boys from well, Astralis really are taking it. tons control early as well. Oh, they were about to retake long, but I think now the upper dark is almost called clear by that aggression. They're just going to drop and play back. Look at all the utility they have left over. If Na'Vi go for the crossover smokes, there is, what are we talking right now, five Molotovs that they can drop down. This oh. utility is being saved with a purpose. Super cool from Astralis as well, their reaction. We can't have long. We'll take short. Confirm it. Cl confirm it's clear. Play for the retake with their boat of utility. Check out all these nades and molotovs that are about to land here from Astralis. As soon as they know that that bomb is crossed, oh, they've dropped out too early. That was baited very, very quickly. Navi haven't crossed yet. No damage done, and utility burned. Navi running light on util, though they have to use this wall of smoke still. 
Flashes to contest them. Bodies are across. More nades chipping away. Glaive's going to be the first to pull the trigger here. He does tag up Electronic. One point of health. But he's still kicking around, and that bomb will go down. Still a lot of util on magic. It's a safe plant. Keep that in mind. It's very, very hard for these long players to contest. Dimple eats the flash, can play around the smoke. Use the elevated point of the car as well. Three here on the elevator side. Simple, the first to put the name in the feed. Zipex claws it back. Even keel, another from Simple. Needs another. They're walking into the smoke, defended by Perfecto. Navi look to have the sight. Dupree still disconnected from the pack. Glaive advancing into Bits Crosshair, and Navi will be the first to post 18. Whoa, this is a game of Counter-Strike though, isn't it? Oh dear, I, I can't believe how Astralis was so willing to hold on to all that utility, right? And then they dumped it that split second early. I thought they would have at least allowed the confirmation of the cross to come in before they started throwing all of those nades. It looked so good. It looked like the perfect amount of utility to have to completely deny it. Oh my God, Dupree. He almost got found out there in the upper tunnels. Alrighty. Navi, just one more round. Or if Astralis put 18 on the board, we go again. Same rules, same again. <laughs> Astralis, they've already had a kind of crazy OT affair in their opening game against FaZe Clan. Triple OT. Here they come to death. Attempt at the Dag Dags. Not far off. Dupree, wounded. Going to be hamstrung on his B defense at 50 HP for sure. In fact, the bomb's maneuvering on that side of the map as well. Simple confirmed. 2B. As Magis jumps across. Zipex is already tucked up close towards the long doors here, so Electronic is going to have his hands full. You can't just walk away from this one. You can see the bullets coming through the door. They're not that far off on their target. Glaive's posted up over towards Cat with that AWP, and now that Na'Vi have established some map control, they can start working on this mid doors and short position. Just one more round needed for Na'Vi to get that spot in the semi-finals. They want to make it clear that they've got short control as well, and that's what this util will do. Serves its purpose. And a flame exchange. Pulls a lot of util actually out of the A defenders. Ah, oh, run boost. That will force Glaive Orp off the line. The trajectory implies CT. Looks like they're gearing up for a mid to B right now. The bomb is down towards lower dark. They're going to pick that one up on Boomich. The Lurk Smoke towards B hasn't drawn a defender closer. Dupree is still towards the back of platform with the AWP. Ooh. Here we go. It disrespects it. Slight gap. Spots him out. Can't find the frag. Magisk. Oh, comes up huge with two. Looking like a second overtime. It's just a couple of frags away. Simple has found one, but he'd have to find them all. 30 seconds for a 1v5. I just think you're asking too much of him. Bomb not even in his grasp. Flank coming on in. So many bodies and they don't have to give him a thing. There you have it. We're going again. Second overtime secured. They just can't. You can't seem to separate Astralis and Na'Vi. <laughs> Astralis aren't giving up on this, right? They're continuing to fight. Continuing to keep that pressure on. And Na'Vi, they're going to use another timeout here. Remember, had a few of these spare and they've saved them for the right moment. Now, they were getting that long control with some decent spawns. Right now, the best two players, Simple and Electronic, have those long spawns. So if they want to go for that again, they got those really sharp spears to get on out the door. This is giving Zonic an opportunity now to let them know what they could be looking at, what they could be staring down the barrel of. Haven't seen Astralis go for too many of those four-man long leans. We did see one in the earlier stages of the OT. This here just stifled by the smoke, right? Both of them relatively grey screened on their way out and it felt like they were forcing the issue hoping they had beaten that rotation but Astralis had read the play. It's high level counters dried. they're up short side. Astralis just don't bite on the bait. Not enough anyway. There's one of those four man long lanes coming out now. Looks like Electronic oh is going. Boy. And so is the majority of Na'Vi at least towards that direction. Electronic's out. Blue bin. Swing comes in. Dupree meets his maker. First round. First blood. Not for long, Electronic makes it too. It's already up short as well here, lots of pressure on A. Yeah, and there's a chance perhaps, Glaive will clear out Blood Blue, but it's smoked off, can't really contribute. Na'Vi bringing the bomb cat side, and they just fully pull the ripcord on long presence. I suppose they're happy to have the man advantage, simple quick to drop that CT smoke as well. Gap in that, from the CTs on short side. The patience from Na'Vi here is interesting. Yeah, they've completely given up long, so they have no info. Zipex is actually going back to deal with that now. They're trying to force the rotation of the CTs, and, well, more so what they've done is get all the utility out of their hands. The A defense is more so bolstered. It really will just come down to 
Magis go over towards B. Mid to B smoke landing again. And does that signal anything? Bomb up through upper tunnels. Lots of pressure applied towards this B bomb site now. If you wanted one man from Astralis on this site, it would be Magisk. He's, He's had all three. So much impact, and he might do it again. The free fire, supreme. Only the one though to report. And simple catching Glaive will lock his effects out of this round. Smoke on the doors, can't contest the plant. No simple was there. Loudly walking on into his domain and fires off the shot. Simple too good. That's some classic CIS stuff right there, right? Just James, he loves to park that bus at the mid doors and allow his teammates to pull the rotations around. Simple profits in the same way. That AWP just too strong, too powerful in his hands. And now V, well, they've got the first here and the second OT. Let's see how many more they can muster on this T half. No long spawns to be exploited this time round. And once again, draw your attention to the top of your screen. First to 22, that's the magic number. 21, 21, and we go again. Simple having a look for a frag there with the AWP towards the upper tunnels. His presence not needed. Nobody putting their head towards the upper tunnels. Now Glaive comes over with the AWP. Double in play again. Dupree this time is orping towards Cat, so they're mixing things up with the CT sided setup more and more. Hinge smoke being dropped. Bit immediately hightails it out of there and starts working on this Cat control single handedly. Oof, bit of an aid on the dome, down to 70. They're still clawing their way up. Hey, let's see if Dupree sticks around for this. Drops in Sendry, peeks in, just shy of the mark. Chance, though, for Dupree there to draw blood, and a second dropped as well from the CTs. Looks like they want to do a util. Like, all the beans. Vanguard smokes are dropped. Molly onto the default box, and I think it might just go. Bread and butter, a take. Three here from Astralis. Dupree not going to be flashed off the line just yet. There's a couple more in play, though, from Na'Vi. Bit, using that one way to great success, at least forces them off the line. Bubski though, real chance here. Perfecto, the tail end of the spray does go down. They haven't got the bomb, and the shot's still getting hit. Electronic's so low. He's on B. B. Yeah, They're I falling understand, back. but how are you supposed to get out of here? Simple fights his way out, both of them on Dave's A4. at mid-doors right now. He can deny all of this. Yeah, but with a USP, 10 seconds. Oh my god, they just have to kill him. They oh, have to kill him. Oh, no! I truly don't believe it! Absolutely outrageous, just the USP, Na'Vi 3, and they all come tumbling down. I'm in disbelief. They've all just come straight into his domain. Simple kills Straight into his domain. Look at this. There's 10 well, seconds, there's 10 seconds. And not only that, he gets the- Oh my oh, God. Holy shoosh. Oh my God. It felt like there was no way. There was nothing to be done. There was nothing. They're going long. They're back into this four-man stack. With the USP, now Boomich out. Bit catching Nate. Astralis ascending. Bit screwed. How is he going to get out? Dunked on. Astralis looking to seize the lead. Electronic looking to demonstrate his prowess. And oh my god, he does. Glaive's AWP. Glaive the hero from before, baiting around. He's only got 10 HP. What's Electronic supposed to do? Oh my god, he's been allowed to get away as well. Dupree's push long, Perfecto's fall, and now it's Simple and Electronic, the superstars. Simple all the way out mid, 40 kills, AWP in hand, bomb on the back right here. It has to deal with one player towards the B site. Might find him. Magic's not crouched. Oh, he's so tucked in, you're not going to expect this. The barrel? Oh my oh, god, he, he just missed he's it. He's going window side though. Now oh, he's hidden. Simple to strike late. Electronic paused, waiting for their misstep from the CTs. Astralis could very well seize a huge advantage here. And Simple's hoping that Magisk will let the nerves get the better of him here, starting to get a bit uncertain. Electronic with some contact. Magisk still crouched down. <gasps> he spotted out. Now with his back turned, they strike and shut him down. This is 20. Nothing Electronic can do. Nothing he can do at all. 14 HP. He'd have to drop behind and kill, kill Glaive immediately here, but there's just no way. Nothing he can do. Jumps straight in. Glaive collects Astralis. They'll take 20 on the half. 
I can't believe some of the plays you've seen in just one game of Dust 2. This is absolutely absurd. In one game of Dust 2. This is mental scenes right here. Oh. Absolutely mental stuff. I'd like to apologize as well for any of our headphone listeners. I probably blew your eardrums as I swallowed my microphone in disbelief. But oh. that has given them the lead. And now they're onto the T side. Let's see if anyone goes down to the spray. They're going to have to be reserved about this. But it does mean that because they're respecting that, they could have some pace in Just Japan. Rushing B. They are. Perfecto. That flame's not going to work. It's extinguished already. They're in. Astralis have a real opportunity now. The util will be dropped. Tagged up one. Zipex tagged as is Electronic. So many bodies in the sights. Perfecto slays a toe out of the line. And Astralis look to have the sight. They have to play for the retake here. The entire CT force is deterred. What are you doing? What do you do with this? Navi are dropping really, really passive. We're in 16 KOT here. Electronic making sure there's no flank over towards long. He knew how much time he had to clear that out. So now that they've established that there's nobody coming in from any of these flanks right here, they can set up for this retake, and they should. But it's just a 4v5 retake into the B bomb site. It's one of these impossible tasks. Yeah. How do they get into this? There should be no way. Astralis can't let this slip. They've done all the hard parts already. Navi have no reason not to go for this, but they're just running out of time. What are they up to? Straight into Magis. Good collection. A tag. Nothing to get excited about here. Astralis don't even have to breathe. A sigh of relief. See you later. Alligator, they go down with the bomb, but that's 21. Oh boy, Navi. Sweaty palms after this one. They're staring down the barrel of it. A third map to be secured. You can see that smirk of pride on Zonic's face. I can't believe it. I cannot believe that they have stayed in this. Map number one was a blowout. This was looking good for Na'Vi and Patches, but Astralis have never given up, oh. and their individuals have won some insane clutches. Stone face now, Na'Vi. Man, just gone the AWP. They're trying it towards long this time, and oh dear. Bubski set for success. He finishes off Boomich. Zipex another. Astralis are doing it. In the second overtime, in the second map, never backing down. Simple demanded to show up in a big way. Dupree's already dipping his toe in towards mid. Smoked out. Very diligent stuff from the Danes. Perfecto's pushed tons, but that may not be the B site locked down if they have no eyes on mid. They're calling a great game. They're in the wrong place. Navi being pulled around on their map pick here. I don't know if Zipex caught that, but... Regardless, it's not going to be something to be celebrated. Bubski's just in mid to control that road. Oh, no. Walking through. And Zipex, oh my god, he's going to knock him down. It's it. Astralis, they're just waiting for that bomb to explode. The last two, simple and bit with orbs. No way in. There is no way in. And Bubski might punish them here. He might drop down behind and ruin it all. He can finish it. Hello and hello, map three. Bubski locks it in. Astralis, that is insanity. The resilience, the fortitude, the calls, the clutches. We're going all the way, folks. That is a heartbreaker for Na'Vi.